Bettinardi has long been known for making some of the finest milled putters in golf. They have also made some really nice forged and milled wedges as well over the years. But now it seems that Bettinardi are intent on expanding that even further. As two Bettinardi iron models have been spotted at the Arnold Palmer Invitational, at the same time as also appearing on the USGA's conforming club list. So let's take a first look at these iron models from Bettinardi with the CB24 and the MB24. But it's not surprising really seeing them aiming at more player types of irons rather than game improvers. Even though the CB is classed as a cavity bark, looks like it would be quite similar to what the TaylorMade P750 was like, or you could even say that they look like the Mizuno Pro 223 and 243 type of iron. And both look to have quite a unique heavy matte type of finish on them, with of course the iconic honeycomb pattern surrounding the B logo. Keeping in mind this is Bettinardi, you'd imagine these to be some of the nicest feeling irons around, and somewhat have a Mizuno type of feel to them. I think looking at these pictures that the size of them looks to be a bit off with each one. The MB almost looks like it should be the CB and to me looks more like it could be a Titleist T100 type of iron rather than being a proper blade as a muscle back iron should be. So the lofts on both of these are going to range from 23 up to 45 degrees with both iron models offering a 4 to pitch and wedge option. We're also going to have like what a lot of other iron manufacturers have started doing with a progressive sensor of gravity giving more launch in the longer irons and more control in the shorter irons and the shaft options when they do hit retail will be the usual suspects with the likes of the kbs tour c tapers project x's and various nippons so yeah what do you think about these irons and how well do you think these are going to do i know here in the uk it is quite hard finding betonardi clubs so i can't imagine you being able to find them in every store that you go to but the price tag as well i think will be the main talking point when they do hit retail if the wedges are anything to go off then i think we can expect expect something quite hefty price tag to it again we'll just have to wait and see on that but yeah that is all the info that i have on these at the moment i am looking forward to giving these a go if i do get the opportunity to when they do come out as usual thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one